Hi everyone, it's Anitra, and I wanted to share with you today um, some items I made for a swap over at your paper pantry. It's a new group called um, Embellishment Grab Bags. And it's hosted by Carrie, who's a drummer's girl on YouTube. Um, and what it is is that on this on this group, she had a list of things you could sign up for, and I signed up for decorated tags and the decorated pockets. Um, and this this theme this month was vintage Halloween. So um, I kept that in mind when I was making my tags. I've seen other tags out there that are really really detailed and really nice tags. So I tried to scale mine back and keep it. Um, more vintagey, so I hope I succeeded, but um, I gave it a try. I gave it a try. So my first tag, I used this little image from an Etsy store. I like to um, get images from called Ila La Mija, and um, I'll put the link on the bottom because I know it's like a strange name, but um, she has some really nice images on there. And I just cut it out and um, distressed it around the edges with some black soot. And this is a tag um, from Ranger, and I just covered it with some older Halloween paper I had, I think from a couple years ago. And I think this one's like from the Rusty Pickle, this bottom one here. And then I punched out these bats using a Martha Stewart punch. I added some seam binding and some baker's twine in a little bow. And then the back is just empty, and someone can tuck something back there too using this kind of to hold it in. I just added some seam binding on the top. And this seam binding I, I, I actually won from a giveaway that Elise uh, had um, on her group, uh, Vintage Postcards, and I, I love that group. And so I was really excited to have won that. So thank you, Elise. It's coming in, in handy, and I am using it. So thank you. Um, and this one I used a craft tag, and I just added a like a Tim Holtz dangle thing there. Um, and I stamped this. Uh, patterned web from the Inka Dika Doo Pattern Play Halloween stamp set and it goes from the tag onto the image uh, and then off the tag again and this is also from that Etsy store some more Martha Stewart punched bats some web edge punch by Martha Stewart and then this stamp set is from the uh, My Mind's Eye Halloween set they have out right now and I thought it went, it went perfect because the sentiment is uh, full moon poison. And then it looks like there's poison bottles. So I like that. And then the back is just covered with some patterned paper and some lacy mining. Um, and this tag I made, uh, I used the Tim Holtz technique. Last year, he had, uh, during his 12 tags of Christmas, he had a technique where he ran a tag through um, the bag of on. Uh, in one of his embossing folders. And this is one of uh, his Halloween embossing folders. Um, and what it, it is, he, he ran it through the Vagabond, creating the raised image emboss part. And then he sprinkled some powder, embossing powder uh, all around it, and kind of brushed it off to where the raised part didn't have the embossing powder as much. And then he uh, used a heat gun to, um, to the embossing powder. And um, it, since it stayed in the, the lower parts, uh, it only embossed with the embossing powder in the crevices and things. So mine did pretty good at, at staying on the lower parts and, and leaving the raised image um, unembossed with the powders. Um, and just to bring out the, the scene a little bit more, I went over it with some craft. Yes, some white, whisper white craft ink. And then added some jewels. And some more seam binding. And then the back is just covered with some authentic paper. That's that one. And on this tag, I used a wooden veneer um, that I had purchased over the summer. And um, I just stained it with some black soot and added some more of the Martha Stewart punched bats. And I had covered this tag with the My Mind's Eye Halloween paper they have out right now. And I just um, took a dauber and just spotted it in different places with some uh, peach parfait ink and some elegant eggplant and then I edged around all the edges with some black soot. So that's how this one came out and I thought that tree looked really great against that tag. I like that. And then on this tag I used a, a metal fence embellishment from Making Memories. Um, and this paper's from Authentique, this damask in the back. Another image from that Etsy store some seam binding 
bow across the top and then also through the hole and then the back is just backed with some more of the my mind's eye pattern paper so that's that one so these are my five tags I'm sending off and um I also signed up for the decorated pockets spot and you were to make five decorated pockets and mine are I made mine different just because I, 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 don't, I didn't think to make them all the same uh, and the first one I made was a simple one, a little library card um, pocket. And I put a library card in there that someone can journal on or whatever they want. And I added a um, sentiment from the Authentique sticker sheet they have out in their Halloween uh, line. Added some seam binding. And these roses are from Prima that I just inked up with some um, pumpkin spice and some uh, peach parfait inks. And that's this one. It's real simple. So I might make another one and stick it. So because it's kind of small. And for my other pockets, um, I made a flat pocket. And I got inspired to make these pockets from uh, when I was in the pocket for your thoughts swap over at your paper pantry. Uh, there's a um, a lady there, Debbie. Daniels who makes um, these amazing pockets and she shared um, a YouTube channel that she got her inspiration from so I'll put that on the bottom too um, in case you wanted to check that out but this is also one uh, from the sticker sheet um, here's some more of the web punch there you can see that and I, I did several punches of cardstock and I glued them so that it'd be a little bit more sturdy so I, I think that'll be fine I don't think it'll yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty sturdy. So there's that one, and this one's really similar. Similar. Um, I just use a different sticker because there was only one each of, of the stickers. So, and this little cameo is from Jolie's. There's the, oops. and it's another pocket. And then these last two pockets. Um, it's a, a file type pocket. Uh, I actually used a manila, manila folder as a a template, um, and I just um, adhered two sides here, this side and this side. And this one I made like a little bit of like a gusset so that um, you could hold more if you wanted to put photos in there or whatever they wanted to use these for. Um, Tim Holtz Rosette. Um, and all the papers are from Authentique on these pockets. And then I added some stars because this sentiment says, Bub, uh, double double toil and trouble fire burn and cauldron bubble and I kind of thought like oh magic and potion stuff so I added these little stars and we currently have a challenge going on over at um, the paper craft star where um, we challenge you to use a star in one of your projects um, whether it's making a star or just stamping out a star it doesn't really matter as long as there's a star in there you could enter it into our challenge where you could win some digital images from the house across the bay. And Riley, the owner of the shop, she has a lot of like grunge type uh, images, if, if that's more your style. Um, there's a lot of really nice images there. If y'all wanted to do that, um, you just link up your project to um, the Paper Craft Star blog. And I'll put that link in the description also if that's something uh, you wanted to give, your, um, give a try. So there's that one. And here's another one. It's really similar, it's just the sentiment's a little different. And I thought I'd put stars on this one too because the sentiment says, uh, the world for a little while was an enchanted land. Uh, Patricia Silka. And I, I like the way that, that kind of reminded me of like, oh, enchanted and magic. And so I put the stars on there. Um, and there's the Jolie's cameo again. And I made a Tim Holtz rosette um, using the authentic paper. And the backs are all the same. And that's it. So those are my projects for the grab bag embellishment group. So I, I'm really interested to see what I get back because um, there's a, a lot of variety in that group. Um, there was like bottle caps, game pieces, stick pins, flowers, um, quite a bit. So and like I said, a lot of people sign up. So I'm going to, I'm looking forward to seeing what I get back. But um, other than that, that's it for me. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.